Grand Time and it's fun time! See that fin over there? That fin points to the Pol Polaris star. We went to Air Force Academy Planetarium. A planetarium is where you they showcase planets up, down, side to side, and front too. Sorry, not down. The Orion Nebula is a nebula right below Orion's feet. When you connect the dots, it looks like a robot. But when you see the real picture, it looks like someone's slaying a beast. We even saw the Polaris star, some black holes, and even planets like Neptune, Pluto, Jupiter, Mars, and Saturn. Pluto, which is a dwarf planet, its atmosphere is inherited by nitrogen. There's nitrogen glaciers, nitrogen atmosphere, and Neptune, which is a gas giant, gets its blue color from its methane methane gas. Jupiter has storms, has nothing but storms all around it. Some have lasted a hundred thousand years, some have lasted for one day, some that have just started right now. You see, when a hurricane hit land, the friction of it will stop the hurricane from spinning again. But in Jupiter, this is all way different. It has nothing but. You see how hurricanes get their fuel from the ocean? When they hit land, it discharges. But Jupiter has nothing but fuel. When there's this big red dot on Jupiter, it's a storm that has been going on for more than one decade. Mars. Mars is the closest planet to Earth. It also has river delta, streams, and even some oceans in the past. In, in the Earth, and it's also one third the size of Earth, and it's also called the red planet. And you see when Earth when a spacecraft comes down to Earth, the atmosphere slows it down. But as I said, one third of Earth equals one third of the atmosphere. So instead of slowing down, it'll just pick up speed, speed, speed. And if you had airbags, you will be like a bouncy ball, bouncing along Jupiter in like 20 minutes. And or you could use retro rockets to slowly land, which would take about uh, about 30, half an hour. And Saturn, the Lord of the Rings. Saturn has 87 moon, 82 moons, and Jupiter has 79 moons. Some moons are even inside the rings. Did you know that? And why should we be thankful to Jupiter? Because it stops all the asteroids from hitting, hitting Earth. Saturn, the Lord of the Rings, the rings aren't really a solid surface. There won't be like um, a Saturn Grand Prix 900, 250, or 300 like that because there are chunks of ice. If you would race around Jupiter, um, the chunks of ice, like you would fall slowly down and the chunks of ice wouldn't be able to hold your weight. They would either break or they would like, they wouldn't hold your weight and just make you fall down into deep outer space. And it's also called a gas giant because it's full of gas. And the chunks of ice, the ice are made with water ice. That ice is the same water we drink from Earth, not, not from Saturn, that we, we, we would have side effects. And the Milky Way galaxy is a hundred thousand
thousand light years long. Can you believe that? It would have a hundred thousand, not even ten thousand. What is a light year, bro? A light year is how long a distance from from light. You see, light is very fast. Um, the sun's rays hit from eight point two sec two minutes. So in the daylight, you would have eight minutes old sunlight. So, as far as the Milky Way galaxy stretches, it's light minutes from sun to sun sunlight to hit uh, um, Earth. But it takes but it takes years, light years, which is a longer period of time, to get across the Milky Way galaxy.